Good morning. It's July 5th, and we spent July 4th in bed. When she says in bed, she means in bed sleeping, because I passed out at like 7. You needed an extra nap. Yeah, from traveling and from the hike yesterday, and so I got a little bit of tequila in me, and I just... <laughs> so now we're going to go get coffee, we're going to go get breakfast, and we're going to take the drive up to Haleakala. Review to let people know it's gone. We were trying to go to this place called 808 Grinds Cafe, which apparently has really good pancakes and such. And we found a location that was a mile or two from our Airbnb, but unfortunately, that location is closed. The last review was left 18 days ago, so. This is really recent. Really recent, which freaking sucks. When we told Google to navigate us, it gave us a different location. And we were like, no, no, that's not the location that we want. Little did we know, Google knew better. it to the top of Haleakala. It says 58 degrees outside right now. And windy. And windy. Like we're looking. It's uh it's pretty windy. It's pretty windy. We're gonna be one of the many people out here in shorts and t-shirts except for her. She's gonna wear her rain shell to kind of cut the wind a little bit. Doesn't really matter because my legs are fully exposed but whatever you know we try. <laughs> Oh my god. I didn't do anything. I don't know if you can see this, but there's chunks of garlic cloves in the rice. Oh, that's awesome. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm glad we stopped at that market. <laughs> so much warmer in here. Do you agree? Yes. <laughs> it's not really that cold, it's just the wind. So I'm gonna start my review of this camera right now. I feel like this camera has been contributing to me having a not so stellar vacation. This camera just isn't quite there for video. Stills from this camera are great, but they just didn't put enough effort into the video. 
on the G7X, there's this little button on the screen that you can push at any time and it will lock focus and exposure. You can program the Fuji, you can program the, the function button to lock exposure and focus, but only in stills mode. No matter what, when you're recording a video, it's constantly changing exposure, constantly changing focus. And a lot of times it just misses. It's trying too hard to do something that it doesn't need to do. And so that's led to a lot of my frustration on this trip. I know she's been feeling it too because of me. It sucks. I hate to be the one that brings down the trip. But we also have the cannon with us. We so do. So whenever he decides to quit, we can just put the cannon on. The mic is there. We still have the whole same setup. So the biggest thing that's keeping me from doing that though is that the quality of the footage from this is a lot better. And because I can set the mic up here, the audio is also better. It's easier. I don't have to sync it up and post later. It's a more cohesive system, but it's just, it's almost there. Food time. I just instantly got a headache. Drink water. High altitude. Do we need to go down? It might, it might just go? be oh, that I'm hungry. See? This is something that's happened to me a couple times in the last couple years. Something about high altitude, possibly altitude sickness. We did go from zero to 10,000 real quick. <laughs> I have a feeling it's just food related we haven't eaten today. Thank you, Pukalani Superette. Dem. Little serving of poke, and then we got a little serving of rice, and a little serving of seaweed salad, and we got to make our own poke bowl. A nice little lunch. Nice little lunch up here. This is more along the lines of what I consider island food. I had a little hissy fit this morning because she wanted to go get some like macadamia nut pancakes and stuff or another like look mocha or something like that but i told her i don't think we think of the same thing when we think of island food because i think of like poke and fresh fish and and that kind of stuff but she thinks of loco moco and spamish and that kind of stuff which isn't bad just different culture i hate that sound you mean the sound Ew. It's We fell into one of the tourist traps. There's a big fruit stand here. So we ended up getting mango lime smoothie, four mangoes of which we've already eaten two before we've even left the place, a bag full of lychee, and then a banana a chocolate chip banana bread. Support your local farmers. Welcome to Lahaina, where we are going to Baby Beach. What a baby. For the baby. <laughs> it's apparently really calm and shallow, so it should be good to just kind of lay out for a little bit.
something interesting just happened. We were in line behind Joe Torre. If you don't know who Joe Torre is, he was the manager of the New York Yankees for, I don't know, maybe 20 years, 25 years. Won a few World Series with them. But he's just chilling here in Lahaina in Maui. So how we know that is not only does he look like Joe Torre, but he had a badass New York Yankees World Series ring. Very good chance that that's Joe Torre. Never a dull moment as she's baby wiping herself. <laughs> if I was a cat, I'd be licking myself. <laughs> I hate cats and I'm not a cat. So we baby wipe. Yeah, I didn't grow up at the beach to like go surfing all day and just be salty and like walk around and not have showered all day. That's disgusting. I didn't do that. I didn't grow up in San Diego and go surfing all day and have it be okay. You grew up in the city. Mm-hmm. Grew up in the burbs where you have to be clean everywhere you go. It's also Hawaii. They kind of expect people to be dirty. I don't care. <laughs> if they expect me to be dirty, I don't like being dirty. Anyway. Today, this whole day, we haven't had a real whole meal. We haven't, no. Uh...